Happy Wednesday. If you've been watching these devotions for a while, you might be aware that occasionally on Wednesdays, I welcome you to the best day of the week. Have I mentioned that before? Have you heard that before? I can't recall. Let me welcome you today to what is possibly the best day of the year. And I don't just say that because we've got some lovely spring weather outside, although we do. I say that to you because Ash Wednesday is, in my opinion, one of the very best days of the year. I'm recording this on Tuesday, as you might imagine. Tomorrow, I'll spend a significant portion of my day chapel and early childhood chapel and church services, putting a smudge of ash on people's foreheads. I'll spend a big chunk of the day tomorrow doing that, and I'm going to love every second of it. I'm especially looking forward to our church services at 3.30 and 7. Now, I know that this doesn't apply to most of you, but you have probably heard that there are some people in the world who show up for church two times a year, Christmas and Easter. It's not really as true as you think it is, but it's true of some people. And here's something I've often thought. I've often thought as much as I love Christmas Eve and as much as I love Easter morning, I do love both of them very much. I've often thought that if I was going to choose two days of the year for people to show up, if they were only going to show up twice, I would most certainly choose Good Friday and very possibly as my second option. I would choose Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday to me is tremendously important. It's beautiful and meditative and reflective. And anyhow, this is not meant to be a long invitation for you to come to church either at 3.30 or 7 today. What it's meant to be is more of just a, hey, it's Ash Wednesday. It's a really important day of the year as we enter the season of Lent as our hearts are prepared by God and our practices are shaped by God towards something better. And I want to let you know because I chose a uh, proverb today that I felt like was fitting for Ash Wednesday. So you remember what we do with the proverbs? Use them to reflect on the past, see how God has designed his world to work, and that helps us walk into the future with godly maturity to actually grow in our living out of God's calling. And that would be a good thing. So our proverb for today, oriented to help us remember the proper spiritual posture as we enter this Lenten season. Really, it's a proper posture or attitude or whatever you want to call it all the time. But today, it's most definitely the theme. Here it is. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with the humble is wisdom. Proverbs 11.2. I keep a running tally of all the Proverbs I've used in these devotions, so I know how many I have used and how many I've used more than once. This is one we have actually looked at before, but I couldn't look past it on Ash Wednesday because I think topics like pride and humility, you know, they're important for us all year. But today on Ash Wednesday, humility is absolutely what we're trying to remember, what we're trying to embody, push against the pride that so easily, easily works its way into our lives. So hear it again. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. So I know some important things about this proverb. The first one is the reminder. You've heard it in other ways. Pride cometh before the fall. Pride creates disgrace. It's a consequence. It's an outflow. And that's something that's important for us to hear because culturally, we tend not to think that way. This is a good reminder for us about how countercultural God's word is. You see, when we look at the world with our inadequate way of seeing things, is often the proud who looks like they have it all together successful, etc. And the person who's humble looks like a fool. 
looks like a loser again from the world's perspective. But not with God's perspective. You see, it's much, much better for us to know our real place in the world rather than fake our place in the world. And as we begin this Lenten season on this Ash Wednesday, remem remembering that we are but dust and to dust we will return, that's not some downer, it's the reality. And having a sense of who we are and what we are is an important part of the preparation to remember that we are but dust, and yet to also remember that at the end of this Lenten season, we will remember that Jesus, in his glorious resurrection, undoes the curse that was brought upon us because of the sin of our first father and mother. We still carry that, so humility is the right approach, the right way to walk as in this journey to the cross. Let's close the prayer. Lord, help me to be wise, not according to the world's standards, but according to your standards. Help me to choose each and every day the way of wisdom and the way of Jesus. Amen. As always, thank you so much for clicking. Happy Wednesday. See you next time.